Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to solve a numerical based upon the rank of matrix method. So in this video, first of all, we will learn to take test the consistency of the given system of equation. Then after we will learn how to find the rank of given matrix. And later we will solve whether the given system of equation has unique solution or infinite solution. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution of this video and here we are asked to test the ten consistency of the system and we are provided with the three equations and the first one is x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 1, 2x plus 3y plus 2z equals to 2 and 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 1 and we are asked to use rank of matrix method and solve if it is consistent. So uh, here are few statements about the rank of matrix method which one must know before solving any kind of numerical based upon this method. So let me take you familiar with the statement about the rank of matrix method and here we go. So here the first thing is we need to write the augmented matrix of given system of equations. After that we have to convert the given augmented matrix into the echelon form and after that what we will do we will check if the rank of this symbol represents rank of matrix so rank of a must be equals to rank of uh, matrix this augmented matrix is denoted by a dash uh, divide symbol and b okay and if these rank two ranks are equal then it is consistent and it means the solution will exist this is the first test when we are solving any system of equations using rank of matrix method second one is we may have a uh, condition in which rank of matrix a may not be equal to rank of matrix a b that is augmented matrix so in that case it is going to be inconsistent and inconsistent means there is no solution of that problem we will have look to each and every uh, type of problem in this video and the further after knowing whether the given system of equation is consistent or not we have to apply second operation that is if uh, r is equal to n if r is equal to n means where r is rank of matrix and n is number of variable so if r is equal to n then there exist unique solutions means there will be unique solution of the variables whether it is x y z a b c it is up to the problem so if uh, rank and the number of variables are equal then in that case we will have unique solution similarly if r is less than n in that case what we will have there will be infinite solution and we will also have a look to the infinite solution type problem so and number of independent variables equals to n minus r so uh, now let's proceed to the solution of this video or the problem so here we go begin with solution and here we have three equations so using that equation what we will do we will write the matrix form of this equation so in matrix form in matrix form we will have we will simply uh, write the uh, coefficients in one place and variables on another place and see how we will write it so we will have here coefficient of this first equation x is 1 so 1 2 3 similarly from this equation we will have 2 3 2 similarly we have here 2 3 4 and put bracket here similarly we have variables that are x y z and it is equal to 1 2 1 we have written the given equations into matrix form now our second step is to uh, write this matrix form into augmented matrix form so on writing the augmented matrix of the given matrix we will have here augmented matrix will be 1 suppose this is a so and this is b this is suppose this is in the form of a x equals to b so what we will do in ma augmented matrix form we will write it as 1 2 2 2 1 2 3 3 
टू थ्री 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 टू फोर ए बाय बी ब्रैकेट इक्वल्स टू पुट टू डॉट्स हेयर एंड दैट इज कॉल ऑन इन इंग्लिश this is the augmented matrix form of the given system of equations now further what we need to do is we have to solve the augmented matrix form uh, to find the rank of matrix which will be using uh, echelon form so I, our third step is to use echelon form so in echelon form what we need to do is we have to apply some operations so that the elements which are lying below the diagonal diagonal of this 3 by 3 matrix will get 0 means we have to convert this 2 2 and 3 element to 0 so how we can convert this we have to apply some operations in uh, raw 2 and raw 3 so let me see let, uh, let me tell you here what we need to do we are doing operation on r2 so we can make this to 0 if we subtract 2 from this 2 so how we can subtract 2 if we multiply this first raw by 2 and then we subtract from r2 we will get it 0 so i'm going to write it here as r2 implies r2 minus 2 times r1 r2 means 2 minus 2 times 1 is going to be 0 similarly we have to make this uh, 2 also 0 so i'm going to use the same operation here also so r uh, this is r3 we, when we move horizontally these data are called rows and when we move vertically downward it is called column this is column and this is raw so in r3 what how we can make this to 0 so r3 implies r3 minus 2 times r1 i hope this is clear to you now We are not doing any operation in R1, so I am going to write the elements of R1 as it is, that is 1, 2, 3 and put the symbol and 1. Now, R2 means 2 minus 2 times 1 is going to be 0. So, we have to so do the operation on other elements of R2 also, so R2 is again, we have 3 let me use this raw portion as a raw portion so 3 minus 2 times 3 minus 2 times 2 is going to be minus 1 so here we will have minus 1 similarly we have to solve for, for other elements also so here we will have minus 4 and 0 similarly for r3 for r3 again we have r3 means 2 minus 2 times r1 is 1 so it will get 0 similarly again r3 means 3 minus 2 times r1 is 2 so we will have here minus 1 again so here we have minus 1 similarly on solving we will have here minus 2 and here we have minus 1 this is for uh, first operation on rows now we we have to check whether uh, this minus 1 will get 0 or not so it, it can get 0 if we do one more time operation that is r3 minus r2 means if we subtract uh, r2 from r3 r2 if we subtract r2 from r3 this element will get 0 and then we will check about rank of the matrix a and the augmented matrix a v so one more operation so let's do the operation on r3 so i'm going to write here right here r3 implies r3 minus r2 means we are going to subtract the element of r2 we are going to subtract these elements uh, elements of R2 means these elements from this so 0 minus 0 will get 0 and we are not doing oper any operation on R1 so I am going to write the elements of R1 as it is so here we go and it is uh, 1 2 3 dot and 1 and we are doing operation on R3 only so element of R2 will be written as it is so 0 minus 1 minus 4 dot and again 0 now for r3 r3 we need to subtract so 0 minus 0 will get 0 minus 1 minus minus 1 minus minus 1 will get plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 this element will get 0 similarly minus 2 plus 4 minus 2 plus 4 will get 2 minus 2 
plus 4 plus the how this plus came so it is minus times minus 4 it will get plus 4 we understood this step now for uh, minus 1 what we need to do is we have to subtract again minus 1 minus 0 minus 1 minus 0 for r3 so it will get again minus 1 now here if we uh, look to the matrix a only here each and every row has elements none of the row is null so uh, the rank of matrix a is 3 similarly rank of matrix ab ab is augmented matrix here also each and every row has elements means there is not any row where uh, any of the row is null so here we can write here that rank of a is equal to rank of augmented matrix ab so what we can uh, do here now we need to go as per the statement that if the rank of a is equal to rank of ab then our solution our system of equation is consistent and solution exists so i am going to write the line here so it is consistent so it is consistent and solution exists and solution exists now further we need to count number number of variables and rank and here we have uh, rank of this matrix is 3 so we have n equals to 3 and variables we have x y and z so r is also equals to 3 here n is represents number of variable number of variable x y z is 3 so it is also 3 and rank r represents rank rank is also 3 i hope you understood this step now uh, if n is equal to 3 and r is equal to 3 what we will have here we have to we have unique solutions so unique solution how we can find the unique solution i am going to rewrite these uh, these elements in the equation form so we will have here x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 1 similarly minus y minus 4z equals to 0 and 2z equals to minus 1 so using these three equation we, we we can simply kind of find the value of x y z and it will gives us the unique solution see here we have uh, let this be equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 so from here from equation 3 we will have here 2z equals to minus 1 implies z equals to minus 1 by 2 now put the value of z in equation 2 so from equation 2 we have minus y minus 4 times z means minus 1 by 2 will be equals to minus y plus 4 by 2 means 2 and this is equal to 0 so it is going to be equals to 0 so from here we will have y equals to minus 2 and since uh, z equals to minus 1 by 2 now put the value of z and y in first equation so i am going to write here again from equation 1 what we will have x plus 2 times y is minus 2 plus 3 times z is minus 1 by 2 equals to 1 so on solving this we will get the value of x equals to minus 3 by 2 and this is our final answer i hope you understood this video i am going to show you one more example in which we will have inconsistent solutions means solution does not exist so here is the problem here we are asked to, to test the consistency and solve here the system of equation are x plus y plus z equals to 6 2x minus y plus 3z equals to 11 4x plus y plus 5z equals to 23 and again the step is same we will convert this system of equation into matrix form so here it is and after converting the system of equation into matrix form we will again rewrite it uh, write down the augmented matrix form of the given matrix as elements now we will use the echelon form method to uh, apply operations on rows so on doing first operation uh, on row 2 this element is converted to 0 
using this operation r2 implies r2 minus 2 times r1 similarly for r3 what we will do r3 minus 4 times r1 anyhow we have to convert the elements this this and this to zero so i have first i have multiplied this one with two and subtracted from r2 similarly we have again multiplied it with the element element of the first row with four and then subtracted it from r3 we have made this zero then after one more operations one more operation on uh, that is r3 minus r2 we have got the whole element of row 3 0 of matrix a this is matrix a and here rank of matrix a is only 2 because all the row of third row of matrix a is 0 rank of matrix so here matrix rank of matrix a is 2 similarly rank of matrix a b augmented matrix rank is 3 because here we have one element in the third row so here as rank is not equal so it is consistent means solution does not exist i hope you understood this numerical this was extra bonus for you uh, so see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and do not forget to subscribe the channel and share this video with your friend